All right, so this is Super Baby 1 deck profile. Let's go through the list real quick. One copy of the leader. Four Grady Bardock. Four Super Baby 2 Vengeful Rampage. Four Super Baby 1 The Conqueror. Four Bardock Father and Son. Four Son Gohan Brainwash. Four Bodyguard Legic. Four Destructive Champa. Four East Supreme Kai. Four uh, Videl. Four Time Magic. Four Planet M2. Four Planet Vegetas. And two uh, Trunks Power. Uh, power Overseeing Time. Alright. So with the leader, you're typically going to either do one of two things. You're going to use this effect twice in, in, in the game in order to self-awaken or you use it once because you let your opponent deal you two damage um, in order for you to awaken. Your the whole awakening and drawing two, you're gonna uh, at, at average you're gonna use it uh, defensively. If that's the case, if your opponent is trying to do you uh, any extra damage beyond four, then you can awaken in order to try to defend. Now when you awaken you don't get the usual 5k boost so you're still a 10k so you're still gonna have to, you're gonna have to combo a little extra to defend but he does have two relatively decent effects but not that great <laughs> not that great uh he has no draw effect on his awakened side he's 5k less uh, there's other things they obviously could have done with this car but for now, the ability to play a free battle card is not that bad. Um, I would like it more if they allow me to, if they made more uh, brainwash uh, cards that uh, have blocker and stuff like that. That would be nice. Um, so the more brainwash they they add into the game, the the better his active main ability would be. His auto, uh, when the power of your opponent's leader card is reduced to zero or less, this card gains triple strike. That effect is nice. The whole gaining triple strike that's nice makes him a finisher, in a way. But reducing your, your opponent's battle card, especially if they're already awakened, uh, 15k and bringing it from 15k down to zero, um, it's going to be a little bit hard. The best I could do is 5k, which is Planet M2, um, bring it down from 15k to 10k. But then to reduce it, you know, that remainder 10k, you got to use certain cards to get there, and it's meant to be comboed with like one of the big apes uh, baby apes but I'm not going that route um, for right now I'm just going the basic five drop super baby two that you can EX evolve for one red one yellow by using a three cost uh, baby and as you can see super baby one the conquer is a three cost baby that I can get I can free play if my opponent has taken two two life that turn so if they added two cards from their life to their hand or sent two cards from their life to the drop area I can play this card so so the idea you will do is you'll obviously attack with your leader um, if you use you know like um, bodyguard legic like I would use you will deal two damage free for free right then play this for free then use one red, one yellow to play this because you're trying to conserve your energy, you know, your energies for EX Evolve and for your Destructive Champas, E Supreme Kai's, you know, your Negates, you, you know, your Planet M2s, your Planet Vegeta's, you know, you're trying to search out and play what you got to play. So you see there's a good amount of free play. This is a free play. That's a free play. That's a free play. Obviously, Overrun free play. So there's a good amount of free plays in this deck. Um, then you got the ones you, you know, combo pay two pay one one red one uh, yellow in order to play because you're never really going to waste time hard casting it you're just going to go with the super bay one strategy of getting this in play and then getting this in play through an ex evolve simple um it's uh it has an auto of course um offering is a really good ability this one of the reasons why I wanted to use this instead of just not going this route is because I like the offering ability. Uh, either I draw two cards or my opponent takes, you know, loses a life. All right, they either crit a life or I, I get two cards. So that's always useful. And then uh, the fact that he can 
uh, negate the skills of um, ignoring barrier of all opponents uh, battle cards as well as make it where they can't be used from the field from the battle area to combo um, very useful so I'm pretty much gonna make sure uh, pretty much gonna guarantee that my attacks will uh, at least be able to go towards the leader so I don't have to worry about anybody trying to block my attacks with blockers or you know anything of that nature and I can just I don't have to worry about them using the battle cards in battle area to combo to protect their leader so I can try to go in for you know some damage especially trying to do some double strike you want to have at least four energies when you uh, bring out a vengeful baby because you're gonna bring him out for one red one yellow and then you want to you know double champa double east supreme kai type of strategy so that way he can deal four damage because it'll be 35k double strike on first attack he'll stand then you attack again do another com uh, you, know, you know combo you know and give him another 10k and double strike and he'll be 35k double um double strike on the second attack and right there's four damage just off of him alone uh, not including the fact that you would have dealt two damage already just to get this combo out um so there's that um, what else the only other thing would be uh trunks power over sea and time you know with four energies you pay two to to play this over realm then with the effect of trunks get back a grade eight bardock and then attack with uh, trunks Pay two to make trunks a 30k a double strike, and then after the battle, Bardock will summon. You'll draw, tap a battle card, whatever, right? And you have a, another 20k a double striker you can use. So that's a little combo right there. Most of the the battle cards in here are are Saiyans, four or less. So you can use uh, Planet of Vegeta obviously to grab. Power, um, you know, power trunks. You can grab Super Baby One. You can grab uh, Bardock Great Ape. You can grab Bardock Father and Son. You can grab uh, Son Gohan Brainwash. Uh, and and, that, and that's about it for the targets for that. Obviously, Planet M2 is just to make it easier for your attacks to go through to hit your opponents, so you're using less cards from your hand to combo. Obviously, to help self awaken, you got the time magic sparking five ability. If your opponent is definitely trying not to let you awaken for some reason, I mean, because his awakening is a little lackluster, but still, the fact that once per turn I can play a brainwash card for uh, for free doesn't hurt. So that's why I got the 20k Gohan brainwash here. He's 20k. <laughs> that's all I really need, right? 20k. Play for free. I already have Legic and Play right for free, and then probably get Bardock Father and Son for free. You get the idea, and then deal some damage, then get this for free, and then pay two energy for this, then pay two energy for this, and just go in, right? And not much else to say. Everything here is relatively self-explanatory, and that'd be the end of the video.